In this video today, we talk about uh, what are ship reporting systems or what we'll be calling it as SRS in this video. The general principles of a ship reporting system or SRS are uh, SRS and reporting requirements are used to provide or gather or exchange information through radio reports. The information is used to provide data or many purposes including search and rescue, vessel traffic services, and weather forecasting. The SRS should, as far as practicable, comply with the following principles. SRS reports to contain only information essential to achieve the objectives of the system. The reports should be simple and use the standard international ship's reporting format and procedure. Where language difficulty occurs, use English or the International Code of Signals. Number of reports to be kept to a minimum. No charge should be made for the communication of reports. Safety or pollution related reports should be made without delay. However, the time and place of making non-urgent reports should be sufficiently flexible to avoid interference with essential navigational duties. Information obtained from the system should be made available to other systems when required for distress, safety and pollution purposes. Basic information such as ships particulars or onboard facilities etc. should be reported once and be retained in the system and updated by ship when changes occur in the basic information reported. Purpose of the system should be clearly defined. Governments establishing a ship reporting system should notify mariners of the full details of the requirements to be met and procedures to be followed. The establishment and operation of SRS should take into account international and national responsibilities and requirements, ship operators and responsible authorities, navigation authorities, and existing and proposed aids to safety. Governments should ensure that shore establishments responsible for the operation of the system are manned by properly trained persons. Governments should consider the interrelationship between ship reporting systems and other similar systems. SRS should preferably use a single operating radio frequency. Information provided by the system to ships should be restricted to that necessary for the proper operation of the system and for safety. Governments should issue instructions to their shore establishments responsible for the operation of SRS to ensure that any reports involving pollution to be relayed without delay to the officer or agency nominated to receive and process such reports. State states which are affected or likely to be affected by pollution incidents and may require relevant information to the incident should take into account the circumstances in which faced and should endeavor to limit their request for additional information. SRS contribute to the SOLAS safety and efficiency of navigation and protection of the marine environment. A SRS when adopted and implemented in accordance with the guidelines and criteria developed by the organization that is the International Maritime Organization shall be used by all ships or ships carrying certain cargoes. The organization is recognized as the only international body for developing guidelines. The organization means International Maritime Organizations. That is only recognized as the international body for developing guidelines, criteria and regulations on an international level for SRS contracting governments shall refer proposals for the adoption of SRS to the organization. This does not apply to any warships, naval auxiliary or other vessel owned or operated by contracting governments and used for the time being only on government non-commercial service. The initiation of action for establishing a SRS is the responsibility of the government or governments concerned. SRS not submitted to the organization for the adoption do not necessarily need to comply with the regulation. 
contracting governments may submit such systems to the organization for recognition. Where two or more governments have a common interest in a particular area, they should formulate proposals for a coordinated SRS on the basis of agreement between them where a coordinated SRS is adopted and established, it shall have uniform procedures and operations. After adoption of a SRS in accordance with these regulations, the government's concern shall take all measures necessary for the circulation of any information needed for the efficient and effective use of the system. The master of the ship shall comply with the requirements of adopted SRS and report to the appropriate authority all information required. All adopted SRS and actions taken to enforce compliance with the systems shall be consistent with international law, including the relevant provisions of the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, also known as UNCLOS. Nothing in these regulation or the associated guidelines and criteria shall prejudice the rights and duties of the governments under international law or the legal regime of international standards. The participation of ships in accordance with the provisions of adopted SRS shall be free of charge to the ships concerned. The organization shall ensure that adopted SRS are reviewed under the guidelines and criteria developed by the organization. Thank you.